sunshine coast as sunshine? Lie, lie to me, lie to me, lie to me. I think it will actually. <laughs> Well, afternoon, you never know. Yeah, maybe. Lane 11. Let's Have a good day. Let's hope for that. Thanks. Yeah. All right. So we're heading to a place called the Sunshine Coast, which is a part of the mainland, but the only way we can get there is to go there by boat. It probably doesn't have any sunshine. It's probably the same as the weather here, but fingers crossed anyway. A waterfall. Ferry ride over to the Sunshine Coast is just a very short ferry ride. I don't think it's that long. And it's $60 round trip. So pretty much 30 bucks each way. But you gotta pay the fare up front to get there. Then it's free to get off that section of the mainland no matter which way you get off of it. Whether I come back to Vancouver or take the ferry over to the next section. So the mainland on the Sunshine Coast there, pretty much all down that area, the ocean has these huge coves that go way back into the mainland and the coves go so deep into the mountains that there's no roads to get around to the next section. So that whole area is ferry ride after ferry ride after ferry ride. But this time we're just going over to the Sunshine Coast. I don't know, maybe just being somewhere with the name Sunshine in it will make me feel a little better. Every time I get on the ferry, I always seem to have that thought. Chrome, what are you running from? And I always seem to say, I'm not running from anything, I'm chasing something. Well, this time, I'm actually running away from something. I don't want the ruckus, the chaos, and the busyness inside of my life. It's causing me stress, and I don't like it. So, sitting on the ferry, watching all this beautiful water and the fog go by, made me realize what a major part of my frustration was. And that's, well, I'm back in the place that I filmed for the last year and a half, so I had no motivation to get out there and film. But then I realized, holy crap, you're not the same guy anymore. You used to be a city boy living in a van that was cool to go to a lake, park in a parking lot and enjoy the lake, or to go for a nice drive down a highway or a paved road. You're not the same person anymore. And that just like light bulb went on and made me realize that now I got the back country, the woods, the mountains, and places that I never really explored before. Because now I'm just a full blown dirty van dweller. I'll take my van anywhere, I don't care. I don't got that city boy inside of me holding me back anymore. So now we got the whole world to explore. We're losing daylight, so I thought we would turn around and go find a spot that I've seen behind us. But look at that again. Wow. Amazing. I don't want to go too much farther up this mountain road because I've never been up here before. And I've seen some really great spots just up here around the corner overlooking the ocean. So we're just going to go back there and pull over and make home for the night. So we're up in the mountain somewhere, overlooking the town of Seashell. Found a great little spot, super uneven. Uh, you can see the ocean from up here. Sorry if it's windy, it's super windy out. Oh yeah. Little ocean view down there. It is a Friday night, so fingers crossed the kids aren't coming up here to party tonight. Um, there's another pullout like this just around that corner, but it's super big. I figured I would leave the big one for the partiers and hopefully nobody comes down to bother us down here tonight. It is miserable outside. <laughs>
grabbed a few groceries, some garlic bread because I'm just addicted to garlic bread. We got some eggs, some little mandarin oranges. Some hash browns because I always get hash browns. More bananas. I just bought bananas like two days ago and I ate them all. And some soup. This one is split pea and chicken noodle. And I also got some more, some more oatmeal. I eat a lot of this stuff just because it's super, super easy. Eyeball. Please don't eat me. Please. Please. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Fish. I'm going to eat you. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to fry these. <laughs> I don't know. Thinking outside the box. All right. Hey, that'll do. I need to take awning and put the awning to the top of my list. Big time. This is perfect. Awning would be out. My doors wouldn't be getting completely <laughs> soaked. My heater's on inside, keeping this space just at good temperature. A little fresh air. More garlic bread because my stove thing actually worked out pretty good. Right? Huh? I know you guys want a piece. Van life is an experiment. I once tried making a cookie in a frying pan, but I fried it too hot and it burnt and it was gooey and it didn't work. But I hear if I get a skillet, like one of those like um, cast iron ones with a lid and do super, super, super low temperatures, you can make a chocolate chip cookie in your van. <laughs> what, I'm making more garlic bread. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so good. It's pretty cool to be living in a vehicle that you can just shift around to wherever makes you feel better. But the van has a multi-purpose use besides just a home and a vehicle. It's now become a very big tool in my life to help me kind of keep myself happy, keep everything inside of me kind of in harmony and in control. So prior to this, I get frustrated at work, I go home, I'd be frustrated and annoyed because I'm always looking at the same things and just the same ruckus, the same busy commute drive to and from work all the time was always the same stress every day where now my van has become a tool. So yesterday I was so wound up. I was stressed out yesterday, like a serious amount of stress don't get me wrong, it's still, I can still feel it. It's probably gonna take me a few days out here to just shed it all and let it go and breathe a little bit. But the van has become a very, what's the word, integral? A very key tool in my life for a lot of things. It's, it's my vehicle to get to and from daily chores like groceries and visiting family and so on. But it's also become the tool that helps me stay centered and to be able to go out here. It's a massive tool for my creativity. It gets me to the areas that I need to create and film and make videos for YouTube. It's pretty much the vehicle that drives my entire life. And I've never been in a home that has felt so good, that has had so many uses. My whole life, my apartment has been my place to sleep and make a few DJ mixes. But sleep, that's it. That's all my apartment was for. I was paying so much money for something that had one to two uses. This vehicle is a multitasking beast that can get me anywhere that I need to be in order to be happy in life. It's my tool that drives me to happiness. 
I would have never thought that owning just a simple white van vehicle would be the key to my happiness. This right here is the key to my van. This is seriously the key to my happiness. You can't buy happiness, but damn it, you can buy a van and that's close enough. I'm going to bed. It's literally 7.30 p.m. and I'm gonna huck the dog in the bed and I'm curling up, man. I'm out. It's dark outside, it's raining, it's warm in here, it's bedtime. So because I said that my van is the key to my happiness, let me explain this. You see, your van is never gonna be the be all end all answer that some of you are seeking. And I know there's a lot of you that watch van life channels and they think that as soon as they drop their apartment and get into the van, life's gonna be set. That's gonna be the only last goal they'll ever have to have in their life. And that is not true. But your van is definitely going to be a vital tool that is going to help you succeed at many different things in your life. I know for me, this silly thing that I live in, I know it's not silly, but technically it is. It's, it's I live in a van. <laughs> this little place that I call home has changed my entire life, has given me the tools and the people and the surroundings and the connection to everything around me to know how to deal with everything inside of me. To know that when I get wound up in the city a little bit, I know I just got to remove myself from it and put myself somewhere that doesn't get me so riled up. I never had this tool in my life before. The only tool I had in my life before to deal with this was pff, glassfuls of tequila at the end of every damn day and my headphones on with my music. And then it's back to the same old thing. I never had a tool that actually could remove me properly from a situation, place me on the top of a mountain somewhere and allow me to work through these things in mother nature and actually truly calm down. My old life, like I know some of you guys do, we go home, we have a few beers just to shed it or the ladies come home and they have themselves a couple glasses of wine just to calm themselves after a long work day. Well, I don't have to do that anymore because I have this thing called a van. I can actually put myself into that calm, peaceful place in mother nature that I truly need inside to really center myself before I go back to the ruckus, you know? So if you think van life is gonna be the answer to the end of all of it, it's probably not going to be, but it's definitely going to be an crazy amazing part of your journey now and maybe your journey until the day you decide to move out of it um, to answer a question while we got you guys here how long are you going to be living in a van chrome that's easy until i get bored of it right now i'm going to tell you forever i have no need to ever go back and rent an apartment again I think I personally honestly agree right here in this moment that I will live in a vehicle of some kind until the day I can't drive anymore. And that's the truth. I love van life because it has honestly really helped me center myself and center who I am. Not just because I sleep in this thing on the side of a city street, but because I can put my home in every scenario that I need to help my life be better that day. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I'm actually gonna go to bed. I put Cruzy in the bed right now. If I can get him up. <laughs> you wanna come sleep in the bed? You wanna come sleep in the bed? Hey. Cruzy. Hey. You wanna come sleep in the bed? Buddy, you 
stay there. Can you stay there? What brings me happiness in my life might not be the ticket for all of you. In life, you gotta take yourself out of the areas that make you feel comfortable and do things that make you feel uncomfortable. It's those uncomfortable moments is where you grow as a person and your life becomes amazing. So do something different. Like me, I went from a city boy to love in the backcountry. I just like the feeling of being on edge. Damn it, I could get eaten by a bear tonight. Oh crap.